Hello there again YouTube. This is Piano Piper coming at you with another quick video. Um, this video is a little bit different than the videos that I've been doing thus far. Uh, I'd like to talk today a little bit about cleaning your pipe. Um, it's really important, at least it is to me, if I buy a used pipe or what they would call it on eBay uh, is an estate pipe, which means you know somebody's been smoking the pipe. Uh, it's a good idea to clean that pipe when you get it in the mail, uh, just to sanitize it, because I don't really like the idea of putting my mouth <laughs> on the mouthpiece uh, after somebody else has smoked the pipe, you know, especially if it's some stranger that you don't even know. Um, so this pipe here is my Jean-Claude, and it's a 9mm pipe, which I did purchase on eBay. I've had this one for a little while, and I have done a sterilization on it and a deep cleaning before I smoked it for the first time. But it's been a little while since I have cleaned it, so I'd like to go ahead and do that now and I figured I would help walk some of you guys through that that have never done it before um, or maybe I do something a little bit different than other people do and you know maybe you could benefit from that or maybe not but anyway I figured I'd do a quick video on it just to um, show you what I do to clean a pipe up after I've smoked it for some times or especially if you buy one off from the internet that's used and it has not been cleaned. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and break this down. So you just twist the stem off and typically there'll be a filter in there. I've already taken the filter out. I only use my 9mm filters once. Uh, when I'm done smoking the bowl, it goes in the trash. They're cheap. They say you can get four or five smokes out of them, but for what they cost, I just throw them away after every use. That's my personal preference. You know, you guys do what you want. So, once you've got the pipe apart and you've cleaned out your bowl of tobacco ash, um, don't scrape out don't take this tool here and scrape out uh, what's called a carbon cake because you want to build a carbon cake in your bowl it helps keep the briar cooler it helps prevent burn throughs um, and it, it's just a good maintenance on your pipe. You don't want to um, dig your carbon cake out after every use. Let that build up for a while. But what you're going to need to do this basic cleaning, you can get these at any tobacconist store, is uh, Dill's Bristles. They may be a different brand for you. Um, but this is what my local shop carries. You're probably going to need a couple of them. Um, they, they've got some stiff bristle in them, and that really helps to dig in and get those nasty tobacco juices that have dried in your pipe stem and your shank, get all that stuff out of there. So what I do, I take a little bit of whatever kind of spirit I have laying around the house. Today it happens to be some uh, bourbon. So I dip the pipe cleaner, the end of it, in this alcohol. And then you take your stem and you put it in and you just work it back and forth 
this pipe probably isn't going to be that dirty. Because I usually will run a dry uh, pipe cleaner through it when I'm done with it anyway. You can see it's it's got a little bit of grime on it. So what you want to do, I flip it over, dip it in the alcohol again, and then continue to do that until that bristle runs uh, clean and stays white. You can see it's still kind of brown, so I'm going to use another one. looking pretty good. I'll do it one more time. It's YouTube Music. Download the app today and get a trial okay. of Music Premium on us. Restricted. When you got that done, I just pull it through one more time. And then the other type of pipe cleaners that you get, I got these ones. Uh, with the purchase of some pipe tobacco from Swornoggins. These don't have the bristles in them. It's just like the felt or whatever you can see. There's nothing abrasive about these. So after I'm done with the bristle brush, I run one of these through it. These are going to be a little bit tighter because they're a little bit meatier. Just help absorb some of that alcohol that you just put in there. And as you can see, that pipe cleaner is clean. It's not brown or discolored at all. So that means my stem, at this point, is, is clean. Good enough. Um, if you just got this in the mail, if you just got the pipe, in the mail, it's, I gotta adjust this camera a little bit. Okay, if you just get this uh, pipe in the mail from eBay or wherever, and it needs to be cleaned, I would recommend also dipping the end of the mouthpiece in the alcohol. Just kind of swish it around in there a little bit. It'll help sanitize the outside where your mouth or somebody else's mouth has been. Um, I've already done that and I'm the only one that's been smoking this pipe for quite a long time. So at this point the stem is clean. So we'll set that aside. We'll grab another one of the bristle cleaners. Again, dip it in the alcohol of your choice and run it through the shank of the pipe and right down into the bowl as you can see hopefully you can see the lighting probably isn't that great but just run it down through there just like you did in the stem you pull it out look how cruddy that is it's pretty dirty so I'll flip it over and dip it in the alcohol again and just repeat. And just keep on doing this until the pipe cleaners run clean, or fairly clean anyway. That's still really black. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, pause the video and I'll be back when I get the pipe fairly clean because otherwise this video could take some time. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, YouTube, I'm back, and I've got the pipe so it's pretty well clean um, going through the shank. Um, I forgot to mention, when you dip the pipe cleaner in alcohol and you're putting it into the shank of the pipe, be very careful that you don't get any of the alcohol on the finish of the briar or whatever the pipe's made from. Uh, because the alcohol 
could mess up the finish on you. And then you've got a whole other problem to deal with. So be very careful about that. Um, when you get the shank clean, you can also bend this pipe cleaner, push it together, and then push that down into the shank as well because that will get the larger opening uh, where the filter sits because moisture can build up around that and get kind of cruddy as well. Um, so once you're done with that, um, at that point uh, you want to let the pipe set and dry because the alcohol that you put on your pipe cleaner and running it down through the shank, that alcohol gets down into the bottom of the bowl and kind of sits in there and absorbs into the briar, uh, which actually can benefit the pipe because it can um, give it kind of a sweeter taste, I guess you could say, depending on the alcohol you're using. Um, but it, it, it can give you a little bit of a sweet taste when you start smoking it again. So once you're at this point, I would set the pipe to the side and leave it alone for an hour or two just to let it air out and dry out. Then you can put your tobacco in and smoke away. Um, so at this point, this pipe is clean and I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit. And I'm gonna put some tobacco in it and puff on it later on this evening. Um, so I hope this video helped anybody that is maybe new to pipe smoking and uh, needed a little guidance on how the best way is to clean a pipe. That's my opinion on how to clean a pipe. I'm sure everybody cleans their pipes a little bit differently. Um, but that's how I do it and I just wanted to share that with all you folks here on uh, the YouTube pipe community. Uh, if you found this video informative, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm just kind of getting started. And if there's anything you'd like to see or any questions you have, please feel free to ask away. Um, so, uh, until next time, YouTube, keep on piping, and I'll catch you later.